Sorry, I'm How are you doing? We're back. We're live. It's Quizmania on ITV1. I am Debbie King. This is the place where they say, apparently, you can fulfill your financial fantasies. So, for the next three hours, we are going to do just that. We're going to offer you the chance to win so much money. And without further ado, let's bring on the first game. Here it is. Okay, if you've never seen this show before, it's completely interactive. You are in the driving seat. You control the joystick, and the joystick is your telephone. So take a look at this. All you have to do to win an enormous 500 tax-free pounds is say what you see. Say what you see. So let's have a look at the game in question. There is a rather tasty-looking pie. I don't know if it's black currant or apple or rhubarb, but it appears to be in the sky. What could that be about? What did you say, Flash? It's badger pie. He thinks it's badger pie. Oh. Goodness. By the way, Flash is our camera operator. He is on camera too this evening. Uh, he's rather interesting and he has a lot of fans out there. I'm going to read out some of your fan mail a little bit later on. So, back to this. What is it? Now, if you do want to call 0901 656 6000 is the number. It will only cost you 60 pence from BT Landlines. Other networks may vary, so do check that out. Get permission from the person that paid the bill and make sure you're over the age of 18. Now, you can enter for free via the website, which is www www.itv.com forward slash quizmania where you can also check out all the terms and conditions goodness right i've told you all the legal stuff get calling what is it all about it's a very tasty pie which i do enjoy my favorite has to be apple uh, with very cold ice cream mm. and it appears to be in the sky now if you get through and get this right it definitely won't be this it won't be. You can do it. It's achievable. People call this show seven nights a week and win cash. We give money away all the time. Why, yesterday we gave £5,000 to the lovely Doug. He won the jackpot very, very quickly. That's the jackpot in the plasma. I'll tell you about that a little bit later on. Uh, that is in play again tonight. We're taking a call so early. Who's on the line? It's Gareth. Gareth, welcome along. How are you doing? I'm all right, yeah. Where are you? I'm very well, thank you for asking. Where are you calling from? Uh, Belfast. Gareth in Belfast. What's the answer? Pie in the sky. Is it pie in the sky? Let's find out. You're the first winner, Gareth. You've won £500. Yes. Yeah! Gareth, what's your favourite flavour pie? Uh, rhubarb. Rhubarb. Do you like it hot or cold? Hot or custard. Custard. Oh, I like that. I'm partial to a bit of custard, especially on a Wednesday. Here's your jackpot, my friend. Have you seen this before? No, no. OK, let me explain what you have to do. It's a check for £5,000. Now, Gareth, the last two digits, the pence value, are missing. If you can work out what they are, the answer is in my envelope, which is here, and in the computer, you'll win that £5,000. But, Gareth, whatever you do, don't hang up. What's your answer, mm. Gareth? 98. 98. If you're right, you can eat as many rhubarb pies as you like. Let's find out. It's not, Gareth, but never mind. You have won £500. Congratulations, Gareth. You did it. Here's the next game. Welcome back to the world of Quizmania. What did I say? I said Tom was going to win £500 and they did. Gareth, good on you, man. Let's bring on the next game. OK, everyone else, the game is back in play and the jackpot too. Now then, you've got to do exactly the same thing all over again. Say what you see. It's as simple as that. The number is on the screen. Somebody will be selected at random by our computer to come live through to the studio. If you give me the correct answer, I'll give you another £500. So what have we got? We've got an urn or a pot. And we have lots of money, which seems to be the colour gold. You might find these at the end of a rainbow. How exciting. So as soon as you've worked out this very popular phrase, get calling 0901 656 at 6000. Now, we're going to be here till 4 o'clock in the morning. We're here for three hours. Uh, and coming up a little bit later on, we've got the gorgeous Lottie Mayer. And I think we're going live right now to her dressing room to check her out in her thong. So stand by. <laughs> 
How am I looking gorgeous? Fabulous. That's am fabulous. I looking fabulous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. Can I have more blush, please? More lippy. Oh, more gloss. Mmm, mm, lovely. More gloss, more gloss. Hello there, how you do? Me and David, my makeup artist, are just mucking around in the dressing room. He's not really my makeup artist. He's just a part of our lovely crew. Uh, but I'm coming up at half past two in the morning and we're going to have some fantastic games. We're going to be doing a new headline game where you guys at home have to guess a part of the missing headline. It's like I've got news for you. So it's all going to be happening here at Quizmania. So make sure you keep watching right through until 4am. Back to Deb. I thought she was going to be in the song. I thought, wasn't she great? Wasn't she marvellous? Stay tuned for the gorgeous and very sexy Lottie Mae a little bit later on. Now, get calling for this game. And in the meantime, I just want to say an enormous thank you to everybody who has sent us in a letter or a Christmas card or a token. The address is coming up if you want to send us anything you like. Here it is, PO Box 5008, London W1A 1WG. Now, so far, I've received a whole nativity set, a necklace, uh, and a very interesting card. And it is from Andrew in Cheltenham. Now, I'd say it's interesting. You decide for yourself. Cut the music. Hi, Debbie. Love the show. I'd like to ask, do you like balloons? If so, what is it about them you like? And would you like me to send you some? See you on TV. Andrew in Cheltenham. Now, I have to say, Andrew, I do like balloons. I absolutely love them. Especially pretty ones that say nice things. What are you looking at? It's true. That say nice things on them with ribbons. So, Andrew, if you want to send me a balloon, feel free. The address will be back on the screen any second now. Uh, bring back the address. Here we go. Can we bring it back on? Andrew, thank you very much. Cue the music. Uh, we've received so many more of your letters. Uh, let me just have a look. I just want to say a big hello and thank you for your cards to uh, Adam Green. Uh, we've got Paul in South Yorkshire. We've got Yana and Jack Foster. And, of course, a big hello to Amy Wilson, who loves the show, even though she's only 14, uh, so she can't play. You've got to be 18. But she sent us a photo. Here we go. Can we take a look at this photo? This is Amy. That's Gav, one of our big fans with his girlfriend. And this in the corner is Amy. That one. That one. No, you need to pan over. There you go. She's hiding behind the reindeer of fear. There's Amy. She loves the show. Thank you very much. Now, we've got loads more fan mail, including some for Flash. We'll read that out a little bit later on. Uh, but if you do want to receive anything, here's the address. Flash, what would you like people to send you? <coughs> Here he is. Well, I've already been sent my cheque for £500 million. Pounds. We'll talk about that Thank later on. Thank you very on. much for that. Uh, I would now like to be sent a cheque for £501 million. Pounds. <laughs> Find out for yourself. You will find out for yourself a little bit later on. I'm not going to give you it all in one go. Oh, no, you've got to stay tuned to find out about the cheque that has been sent to Flash for a massive 500 million gazillion trillion chameleon pounds. Uh, but right now, we're playing for 500. It sounds small compared to that, doesn't it? We're going to take a call very soon on this. What is this all about? It's a pot surrounded by some glistening coins. You often eat these at Christmas, chocolate ones. Mmm. Very nice. 0901 656 6000. You're live on Quizmania. Who's there? Hello. Hello. Who's on the line? Carol Reed. Hello. Welcome to the show. How was your Christmas? Um, quiet. Very quiet. Okay. Well, we like nice, quiet Christmases around here. What's your answer, my love? Pot of gold. Pot of gold. Let's find out. Have you just won £500? Yes, you have. You've won a big bag of money. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah. What are you going to spend it on? Um, probably the kids. The kids. How many have you got? Three. Three, Three daughters. Kids? Three daughters. Goodness me. Okay. So you need a lot of money to spend them. I bet they want loads of clothes and shoes and everything like that. Uh, let's see if we can get you another five thousand pounds. Take a look at this. Now this is our jackpot. Have you seen it before? Yes. You have seen it before, so you know what to do. Let me just explain for everybody else watching at home. All you have to do is guess the last two digits of the check. The pence value. The answer is in my envelope and locked into the computer. If you get them right, you win it. So, in okay. your own time, what are those digits? Um, 23. 23. If it is 23, you have won the money. But whatever you do, don't hang up because £500 is coming to you. You have won £500. Stay on the line. We'll take your details. You're a winner. This is Quizmania. Let's do it again. Confectionery flash. Chocolate coin. They're 
Thank you. I pass. You pass? I pass. OK, OK. Zed? I also pass. Also pass. Too much chocolate. Bring on the next game. OK. This is about one of my favourite pastimes in the entire world, the pantomimes. And it is the panto season. We're looking oh, for no, your... It isn't. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> so much fun to be had on this game. We chose some of our favourite pantomimes and put them on the Tower of Love. All you have to do is tell me what you think they are. Name one and you could win anything up to £1,000. 0901-656-6000. Anything up to £1,000. Uh, so tell me what you think they are. Dial the number on the screen and you can win. Now, I've got some facts about pantos. But, but before I give you these amazing facts about pantos, apparently we've got Dave talking to our winner. Who was that who just tried to stick their head into shot? Neil! Neil! Can I just take... Wait there, Neil. I've got something for you. Stay there, my love. Neil, this is for you. Uh, Sorry to totally digress, but Neil is one of our multi-skilled operators and he's single at the moment. I did ask for people to send in photos and I have to say, Neil, you got a massive one letter. <laughs> and it's from Sarah Lou. She said, you won't be single for long. I'm sure you'll have somebody soon to snuggle up to and watch films. And this is the photo she sent. Well, it's a picture, actually. It's very good. P.O. Box 5008, London W1A, 1WG, if you want some of Neil. Right, moving back to the pantomime. Here we go. It's all about pantomimes. Now, the dictionary definition is a, a form of non-silent comic theatre traditionally performed at Christmas to a mixed audience of adults and children. Name a pantomime. You must have seen one. You must have been to one. They are all over at the moment. They're fantastic. You sit there and you get eggs thrown at you and sweets and it's very funny. Well, I think it is anyway. 0901 656 6000. Anything up to £1,000 on this game. And of course, a shot at that jackpot. We're going to take a caller very soon on this. So make sure you get on the line. 0901 656 6000. Here it is. You're live on Quizmania. Who's there? Hello. You're live on telly. What's your name? Hello, it's Michelle from Hello. Newcastle. Michelle in Newcastle. How's Newcastle this time of year? OK. Do you still have that nightclub called Tuxedo Royale? Yeah. Which is a boat which is slanted and you feel drunk before you've even had a drink? Yeah. Yeah. Brilliant nightclub. Brilliant. What's your answer? Jack and the Beanstalk. Jack and the Beanstalk. One of my favourites. Is it there? Let's find out for the lovely Michelle. I don't believe it. It's not there. Now, Michelle, get back in the game. Everybody else, write these wrong answers down. The best way to play these games is to make a list. Make a list of all the wrong answers. Jack and the Beanstalk is not there. Now, we're looking for names of popular pantomimes. We've selected them. The answers are predetermined and locked into the computer. Now, speaking of wrong answers, we are playing for the jackpot, and I want to give you a chance to win this. These are all the wrong answers that have been guessed so far for this jackpot. So a big piece of advice, write these numbers down, because they are all wrong. Please don't come through and say any of these numbers. They are completely wrong. If you can guess another number, which is not in this bubble on the screen, you could win £5,000. Doug did it yesterday. Yes, he did. What do you call a man with a spade on his head? Duck. Oh. OK, facts about pantos. Vital elements that make up a good panto. Are you ready for this? You've got to have these or you will not have a panto. A principal boy, usually played by a young woman. A panto dame, usually played by an old man. Dressed up in women's dresses. Crazy stuff. Uh, lots of double entendres making innuendos out of perfectly innocent phrases. Flash gives a double entendre. Go on, be uh, rude about something innocent. Go on, Flash. Uh, I'm not ready. I'm not prepared. Ah, that's what they all say. Oh, oh, that's a... That, that's a... The nation tune in nightly for your performances and you've just let them down. Oh, Flash. We are guard. <laughs> ah, quickly say something slightly rude. <laughs> big, 
big, massive tracts of land. Oh, I said rude, not scary. Who's on the line? Uh, Kay Horsey. Hello, Kay. You a fan of pantomime? <laughs> Yeah, uh, sorry? Are you a fan of the pantomime? Yes, I am. You are. We all love it here. What's your answer, Kay? Scrooge. Scrooge! Is it there? Let's find out. Tommy Steele's starring in Scrooge in the West End at the moment, I believe. Is it there? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not there, Kay. Cross it off your list. Cross it off your list. 0901 656 6000. Scrooge is not there. Neither is Jack and the Beanstalk. OK, now you may be thinking to yourself, who drives this show, that this monster, this amazing Oscar-nominated show, allegedly, that they call Quizmania? Uh, well, of course, you know the MSOs, you know the camera operators. You've now seen the young man that answers the phone. But who controls the music? It's the one and only Sean Etienne. Look at that winning smile. <laughs> oh, I love him. I love Oh, hi, Mum. His mum watches. You wouldn't believe that his brother's a massive Hollywood star who's been in Pirates of the Caribbean and, and other such movies, would you? Ah, I love him. He's like a lovely, cuddly teddy bear. Uh, more facts about Panto. There is a lot of audience participation. You've got to have lots of it's behind you, uh, like my career, and oh, yes, it is, and oh, no, it isn't. If you don't have that, you don't have Panto. More of that later. Who's on the line? Hello. Hello, who's there? Simon. Simon, where are you from? Huddersfield. Simon in Huddersfield, up north. We like it. Is it snowing there still? No. No snow. Simon, <coughs> what can we do about it? What's your answer? Aladdin. Aladdin. One of my favourites. Is Aladdin there? The lovely Simon. Let's find out if it's on the tower. Are you a fan of pantomime, Simon? Yeah, with me little niece. Oh, you love it. You've won £250, Simon. Thank yeah. You. Brilliant. Hooray. OK, hooray. Come with me over to the Tower of Love, Honour and Jackpotsness. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Simon, how was your Christmas? Fine. Was it lovely? Did you get what you wanted? A uh, hangover. <laughs> A hangover. Apparently, the scientists say there are no cures for hangovers. Just don't drink alcohol. Here we go. Bring on the check. Uh, it's worth £5,000. All you have to do is guess the last two digits. And if you do, Simon, I'll give you that money. It's in my envelope and in the computer. Go for it. 40. 40. Is it there for the lovely Simon? Don't forget, Simon, you have won £250. Stay on the line. Here we go. Oh, Simon, it's not there, but never mind. You've won £250. You stay on the line. We'll take your details. You are a QM winner. <laughs> Welcome back to the world of Quizmania. Bring back the panto, that's what I say. OK, uh, it is true, actually, talking about drinking too much, that scientists have said the only way to avoid a hangover this Christmas is to not drink, because none of these cures work. I don't know. And I've also had a letter from the lovely Adam Green. He says, Debbie, I love the show. Here, can I have a signed photo? And don't get too drunk. Wise words. He's only 14. Oh, no, I made that up. I don't know how old he is. He, he could be 95. Uh, anyway, thanks, Adam. I won't drink too much. Thank you very much. 0901 656 6000 to enter this game. Any pantomime you can think of could bring you money. Now, it's 60 pence a call from BT Landlines. Other networks that may vary. Please get a permission from the person that pays the bill and make sure you're over 18. Now, you can enter for free and check out all our T's and C's on the website, which is itv.com forward slash quizmate. Yeah. OK, think Panto. We have an enormous amount of cash to give away. Now, you may have just tuned in and never seen this show before. This show is great because if you've ever wanted to be a contestant, this is the show for you. You don't need to send a letter asking, requesting to be on a show. You just need to pick up the phone and call us. And if you get randomly selected by our computer, you will be put through live on air. Give me your answer and I will give you the cash if it's on the tower. It's amazing and totally achievable. You know, we make at least 20 winners a night on our show and not one of those winners ever expects to get through. Nobody does. 
stage. They also, I can't believe I got through, and they win. It's brilliant. It can absolutely happen to you. So just try it now. 0901 656 6000. Thank you very much. It's all about the pantomimes, and this is your joystick, so don't let anyone get on the phone for the next few hours, because if you do want to win some cash just before New Year, you have to get on the line. Somebody will be selected momentarily. It absolutely could be you. Look around your room, because there could be a winner in it. There really could be. Maybe you've just got in from the pub. Maybe you've spent far too much money this Christmas. This is your chance to come and claim it back. As I said before, we make so many winners every night. There is no reason why we can't make another winner right now. And that winner could be you. You've got to get in the game. The number's on the screen. Everything is right here. Think of your favourite pantos. Imagine the princess, the prince, the evil witch, the good witch. Fairy tales, pantomimes. <laughs> Hello, you're live on Quizmania. Who's there? I'm Christine. Christine, welcome along. How are you doing today, this evening? Hi, thank you. How come you're up so late? Oh, can't sleep. You can't sleep. Well, uh, that's why we're here, for you insomniacs. What's your answer? Uh, Mother Goose. Mother Goose. One of the best out there. Is it there for the lovely Christine? Let's find out. Where are you from, Christine? Uh, Gloucester. Christine in Gloucester. Let's see if we're going to send you some money. Yes, we are. You've done it. You've won £450, Christine. Oh, yeah. Brilliant. Thank now, you. did you expect to get through? No. <laughs> Have you ever watched the show before? No. Just flicking through and found it, did you? Yes. Oh, well, I bet you're glad you stopped now on ITV1. Here we go. Uh, now, you're now playing for the jackpot check of £5,000, Christine. But whatever you do, don't hang up because your 450 is safe. So, what do you have to do? You just have to guess the last two digits, Christine. The pence value of our check, if you get it right, you win it. It's in my envelope and it's in the computer. What's your answer, Christine? 34. 34 for the lovely Christine. Whatever you do, Christine, don't hang up. Here we go. Is it 34? We're going to find out in a few seconds' time when this drummer stops drumming. He stopped. Oh, never mind, Christine. You still won an enormous £450. You're a big winner on the one, the only, Quiz Mania. Welcome back. This is Quizmania. OK, I'm Debbie King and we're playing pantomimes. All you have to do is think of a pantomime that isn't on the tower. Call the number on the screen and if it's there, I will give you the value of that pantomime and a chance at the jackpot. You know what pantos are. We've already said it is a, a form of non-silent comic theatre traditionally performed at Christmas. Now, we were talking earlier about the vital elements that a panto needs. So we know we need a leading principal boy played by a woman and a dame played by a man, lots of innuendos and lots of audience participation. Can you guess, Flash, what the other essential ingredient could be? What could it be? Should I give you a clue? Or Pack of dogs. What dog? A pack of wild dogs. Do you know what? Your animal connection is very close. <laughs> it's a horse or cow played by two actors. It's one not in the a front, dog, though, is one it? One in the bum. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> one in the front and one in the bum area. That's that a was an innuendo. Um, anyway, let's move on swiftly. According to an official pantomime website, last but not least of the thing you need to run a successful pantomime is a vague celebrity guest star. <laughs> so someone who is an ex-soap star or singer. I think we've got someone here. It's Teddy Santa who's featured in those successful shows such as uh, The Teddy Show, The Santa Teddy Goes to New York, and Teddy Goes Shopping. He's now featuring in uh, Jack and the Beanstalk in Leeds Theatre. <laughs> A big star of theatre is Linda Lusardi. She's a lovely woman, I've met her. Believe it or not, to have, she's a lovely woman. Uh, we'll leave it at that. Anyway, now you know all about pantomime. Now, I used to love panto when I was a kid. I always went along with my brother and loved getting called up on the stage. And then you win prizes and everything. It's just brilliant. Uh, do you know any of these? Have you taken your kids to panto this year? 
0901656000. Good evening, who's on the line? It's Kerry. Hello, is it Kerry? Kerry. Kerry, welcome along. Where are you from? I'm from Birkenhead. Kerry in Birkenhead, what's your answer? Um, Cinderella. Cinderella, one of the favourites, one of the old classics. Is it there for Kerry? Would you believe it? It's not. OK, guys, get back on the line. Do not delay. It's really important that you write down all these wrong answers. They are simple, achievable answers. However, we have chosen some predetermined answers locked in the computer. As I said before, people get through and win every night of the week. You're next. What's your name? Hello, what's your name? Hello, what's your name? Hello? Hello, what's your name? You're live on Quizmania. It's Wendy. Wendy, where are you from? Ayrshire. Wendy and Ayrshire, what's your answer? Uh, Cinderella. Cinderella, is it there? Sweetheart, it's not there. Now, guys, what did I say before? Listen to everybody else's answers. Now, maybe Wendy's just tuned in so she wasn't to know. That's fine. But if you are here to win, you've got to play to win. And to do that, you've got to write your list of wrong answers. Now, Flash, if you had to play the cow or the horse in a panto, would you prefer to play the front or the rear end? Probably, uh, I'd probably perform from the rear, I think. <laughs> Another innuendo. Perfect. We're made for Panto. <laughs> 0901 656 6000. Uh, now, I did promise you earlier that I would show you some more fan mail, and specifically this amazing piece of fan mail sent to Flash. Um, it's from Chris Barker. He said to be continued. Who's on the line? Hello, it's Kay from Shrewsbury. Welcome along, Kay. Are you enjoying your evening? Yes, I am, thank you. <laughs> What's your answer, Kay? Um, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz? Is it there? Let's find out. <coughs> Kay, I'm so sorry it's not there. OK, guys, let's help each other out here. Think about other pantos. Think about the, the principal boy and the princess, because that is going to help you work out. Think of... Think of sailors. Think of... Animals that talk. That may help you. That is a clue. Animals that talk. 0901 656 at 6000. I have to quickly read this out because I started it. It's from Chris Barker. Uh, he's only young. He's age 15. He can't call. You've got to be 18 to call. He loves you, Flash. Uh, and Flash did request a cheque for £500 million. And Chris, being the millionaire that he is, sent it. Look at this. So, Flash, would you like to appear on the stage beside me? And I will ceremoniously... Can you get that? Hand you the check. Take a look at this first. <laughs> there you go. The bank of organ donation. Very interesting. Uh, flash on camera two. I, I haven't given you it yet. No, you can't move me. I ceremoniously I give you this check for five hundred million pounds, signed by Chris Barker. He also loves the T-shirt you wore on the eighteenth of December. Um, that was the Motley Crew. Uh, can you say hello to him? You're right, Chris. How you doing? 